Oh, screw you and the horse you rode in on. You want a piece of me? Do you? Here I am. You want a candy attitude, Mr. Head. You might think you can't shit a turd mountain because you got the better of me out in the woods. But you're on my turf now. And I'm gonna kick your ass. Scare him badly enough, that horseman might end up right on his ass.
Oh, thank God, Fred! I knew you'd figure it out! Doc, good to see you. Nice job with the hint. Well, I figured you were listening. Look, Fred, you have to get me out of here. I believe this horseman fellow intends to remove my head! Yep, say no more. I was just about to finish the bastard off. Hey, I hate to break up this family reunion, but you know, I got one head to remove and one private dick to ice. Hell, now I can do both at the same time! Oh dear, this doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, nicely done. Ah, jeez, what you go and do that for? Sorry, pal, but I'm not gonna let you barbecue the dock here. If you want them, you gotta go through me first. That's a hell of a relief. Hey, look, pal. I guess I owe you one for finding my think box and all. How about we call it square and I won't kill you after all? Deal? Sure. Why not? Ciao, baby! Hey, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, him? <laughs> hell, the lock on that cage ain't worked since I found it in the city dump. You're free to go, Doc. Um, uh, thanks. Where do I go from here? I still don't remember a damn thing. Your best bet is to head into town and start talking to people. That should help you piece together what's been going on so you can formulate a clear course of action.
This had better be good. I'm busy. Fred, hello. What is it now, Sam? You don't have to be snippy. I just wanted to tell you to be on the lookout for boneheads. Well, now, from what I've seen so far, there is a distinct surplus of boneheads in this town, but I appreciate it. Not boneheads, boneheads. You'll know them when you see them. Very useful. Dangerous, though, so be careful. Same deal as before. Bring five to the head shop, and I'll set you up with one. Great. Gotta go. Uptown used to be one of the most bustling parts of town. Now it's more empty than a campaign promise. I wonder what gives. Just where do you think you're going, freak? Look who's talking. What, are you and your little friends on the way to a Halloween party or what? You want to lose the attitude, Jarface? You know who you're talking to, huh? No, can't say that I do. The name's Facia Del Oso. Boneface? Well, it fits. But I'd still have to kick my mother's ass for giving me a name like that if I were you. I'd track her down, and I'd beat the shit out of her. So, you speak Italian, eh? Well, congratulations. And, vaffangulo. You might want to watch your language. There are ladies present. Well, around here, they call me the face. I'm the boss of all of Uptown, see? And I'll talk however I want. And I do whatever I want, including having my boys here kick your smart ass from here to the Hudson. Take them, boys! Again.
there was a head shop around here somewhere. Here you go, Sam. Five fresh ones. Where did you unearth that from? I must have it.
Hey, hey, face. I see you picked up some new bony friends, huh? That's just as well, since I filleted the last batch. Oh, you think you're pretty tough, huh? Well, everybody's got to go down sometime, and your time is now! Hey, face. What, you're not going to stay for the party? Nah, I don't want to waste my time on small-time freaks like you. Besides, I got some collections to make. Hey, uh, do yourself a favor, right? Don't fight back. My boys will make you quick and painless. Well, quick, anyways. Oliver Dirty. getting somewhere. This should be a good place to dredge up some memories. It's crawling with people. Somebody around here is bound to know who the hell I am. Pardon me, ma'am. I was hoping you could help me. <coughs> Maybe not. I guess I gotta take care of this damn mug of mine before I can do much of anything. Well, I know now where all the well-dressed thugs in town get their threads. Maybe it's worth checking out. Good Lord! What in the world possessed you to leave the house looking like that? Do I know you, lady? Obviously not. If you knew me, you would never have dared to go out on the street looking like a refugee from an Alfred Hitchcock Halloween party. Nice. Well, if I wanted fashion advice, I would have... Hey, wait a minute! Just about everybody else I see in this burg runs screaming when they see me. How come you're not running scared? Darling, I'm El Cosmo. I've been in the fashion business for the... Um several years <laughs> and I've seen it all now let's have a look at you well the clothes are awful of course it looks like you're some sort of detective from a 40s film noir picture I am a detective well a PI license isn't a license to dress badly darling still we can fix the clothes I have plenty of lovely things in stock hey from the look of things 
You've been here for a while, haven't you? So, what's the deal with Pitt? Well, that's one thing I really don't know. It's not healthy to stick your nose, or lack thereof, too far into Pitt's business. One person who might be able to help you is Jeannie Rossini. Her father, Vinny, used to be in charge here in Hope Falls, before Pitt came along, and Vinny disappeared. Nice man, Vinny. Snappy dresser. Jeannie Rossini. Where can I find her? Well, she usually goes to the concerts in the park. There's supposed to be one today, in fact. Thanks a lot, ma'am. Much obliged. Are you mad? You can't go out and try to talk to her looking like that. Like what? Like a water cooler from hell, that's what. Oh, that jar on your shoulders. Oh, normally, when I have a customer who's less than stunning, I recommend a face job. You, well, you need a head job. Look, Elle, sweetheart, that's a super nice offer, it is. But we just met. Oh, good lord. Is that all you men ever think about? I meant, you need to change that head of yours if you want to make a better impression on people. What you need is something more normal looking. Why, my mannequins look more normal than you do. I don't suppose you could spare the head off of one of your dummies, could you? My mannequins are imported from Paris, darling. They're very expensive. Oh, damn it. And I'm low on cash at the moment. Well, you being a detective and all, we might be able to work something out. You see, there are these creatures that congregate in the alley behind my shop. Their leader is called the Skull or some such. Seen your face. Yeah, we met. Yes, well, they work for Pitt, and they're extorting money from me constantly. Plus, they scare off the customers, and the garbage man hasn't been by in ages. If you could dispose of them for me, I might be able to find you a spare mannequin head. What do you think? You got yourself a deal, lady. I'm on it. Me and the face have a score to settle anyway. Did you take care of- If you're going to be late, darling, you should- Face. What are you gonna run again? A run? From a mook like you? I don't think so. Well, that's good. Cause I got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> Ain't you quite the joker, huh? Well, you better watch it. 
I ain't no pansy ass like my boys here. When I'm through with you, I'm gonna have you ground up nice and fine down at the packing plant. That way, the rest of your body can fit inside that head jar of yours right next to your puny brain. <laughs> well, bring it on, boner. I've been cracking skulls all day. I can always do one more. Problem solved, Elle. Ah, uh, with you in a second, dear. Now, you were saying? Uh, I took care of Pitt's boys out back. Now, how about that head? Yes, I think I have just the thing. Try this one, darling. Well, how do I look? Pretty good? Let's not go overboard, but at least people won't run screaming anymore. And Jeannie Rossini might actually talk to you now, without calling the police. Thanks for your help, Elle. Much obliged. My pleasure, darling. If you ever need a new outfit, you know where to find me. I might have more work for you in the future as well. Ta-ta! Nice to see you, Frederick. Now there's something you can't find in the catalogs. I'll trade you for it. Goodbye, Fred. Try not to get this. Doot dirty. 